Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're asked to show that the absolute value function f of x is equal to the absolute value of x is continuous everywhere. And so to prove that a function is continuous, we have to show that the limit as x approaches 0, or sorry, uh, the limit as x approaches a, right, 0 is going to come in handy later, which is why I was thinking about it, but just a general point a, the limit as x approaches a of a function f is equal to the value of the function at that point. So the problem with this is we don't have any uh, clever rules, right, about anything involving an absolute value. So what we're going to have to do is turn f of x, which is equal to the absolute value of x, into a piecewise function, and then we can look at the continuity of both each part of that piecewise function. So what does it mean for the uh, absolute value of x to be a function? Well, that means that it is equal to x if x is greater than or equal to 0, and negative f if x is less than zero, right? If x is positive, then the function, we can just drop the absolute value, no issue. But if it's negative, right, we have to take negative x, right? The absolute value of negative four, it's not negative four, it's negative negative four or positive four. That's how we have to think about this. So if we can split this into this piecewise function, then we can say, okay, these are just two polynomials, right? They're linear functions, but they're polynomials. Therefore, if x is less than zero, it's continuous. If x is greater than 0, it's continuous. And that is because over their uh, open domains, right, so the domain of this first one is from 0 to infinity inclusive. This one is from negative infinity to 0 exclusive. We can say basically that this function is continuous over these domains as long as we replace the brackets with parentheses. So it's from negative infinity to 0. Nothing changes there, but we have to turn this into an open bracket, 0 to infinity, which excludes 0. So all we have to do to show that it's continuous everywhere is to show that it's continuous at 0. So the limit as x approaches 0 from the left of f of x is the limit as x approaches 0 of what function are we using as x approaches 0 from the left? Those are values less than 0. Therefore, we're using negative x. Therefore, we can just plug in negative 0, which is 0. From the right, f of x is equal to the limit as x approaches 0 from values that are greater than 0. Therefore, we're using x. So therefore, we just plug it in directly. Again, we just get 0. Therefore, the limit as x approaches 0 from the left is equal to the limit as x approaches 0 from the right is equal to f of 0 is equal to 0. Therefore, yes, it's continuous at 0, and it's continuous at these two intervals. Therefore, the function is continuous over all real numbers, or as this problem puts it, everywhere. So next, we have to prove the general statement, right? We're saying if f is a continuous function on an interval, then so is the absolute value of f. So if f is continuous, then the limit as x approaches a of f of x equals f of a. The absolute value of f, in a similar way to up here with uh, capital F of x, the absolute value of f is equal to f if f is greater than or equal to 0, and negative f if f is less than 0. Therefore, um, on the only point at which we do not know that f is continuous outright is when f um, is equal to 0. We need to check these values. Well, the limit um, as f approaches 0 of f, right? This is a little bit of a weird way to put it. Usually it'd be the limit as x approaches 0 of f of x, but the actual function is approaching 0 here. As f approaches 0, f approaches well. From the right, it approaches f. So this is the limit as f approaches 0 of f. And from the left, it approaches negative f. Again, this is 0 and negative 0 in a very similar way. This is just a special case. Negative 0 is, of course, 0. And both of these are equal to f at the value of x where f equals 0. 
right? And again, I'm, it's getting kind of messy with the ways in which we have to represent this because I don't really want to write it out. I'm explaining it to you uh, to show what I'm actually meaning here. Therefore, at all values of uh, x where f is not equal to zero, we know that it's already continuous again because these are, uh, if f is continuous, then negative one times f is also continuous. Therefore, we only have to check f is equal to zero and we just did. Therefore, it is also continuous everywhere. Is the converse of the statement also true? Uh, if the absolute value of f is continuous, is f also continuous? So to prove this, right, so if the absolute value of f is continuous, is f, it's, is f continuous as well? Well, luckily we don't have to prove this because we have a counterexample, right? f of x equals 1 if x is greater than or equal to 0, and negative 1 if x is less than 0, right? So this function looks a little bit like this. It equals negative 1 for negative numbers and positive 1 for positive numbers. And we can see just visually, or if we wanted to do it out with the actual definition of continuity, the function jumps from negative 1 to 1 at x equals 0, therefore it is not continuous at that point. However, the absolute value of f of x is equal to 1 if x is greater than or equal to 0, and absolute value of negative 1 is also 1 if x is less than 0. Therefore, the function is just equal to 1 no matter what. Therefore, absolute value of f is continuous everywhere, but the function itself is not. Therefore, we can say no by our counterexample.